we've got to go to the moon to get to Mars. But he said, what is that generational achievement that will inspire all of Americans? It's putting an American flag on Mars. There could be a day when you wake up on another planet. This would be the planet next to Earth, the red planet Mars. But what would life on Mars look like? How will that planet sustain life? Can we build cities and settle there? In today's video, we will find out what happens if we colonize Mars. If humans lived on Mars, life would be very different from Earth. For starters, your day would be approximately 40 minutes longer than that on Earth, and your year would be nearly double that of Earth with 687 days. Now that's a big year to work on your annual resolutions. But you wouldn't want to live there alone. You would be a part of a group of people, maybe one of the first who settled there permanently. There will be a few adjustments you will have to make, but it is worth it because you are living on a whole other planet. Before we get on with exploring life on Mars, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Now if you are thinking about getting off this planet, your journey is about to be 401 million kilometers long and could take you as long as 9 months depending on the positioning of the planets. But once you get to the red planet, you will realize that life on Mars is going to be very different. The atmosphere of Mars is 90% carbon dioxide, so you would need to bring on your own source of oxygen. But if you are going to live there, that won't be enough. The good news is that there is a way to extract oxygen from Mars itself using technology like NASA's MOXIE. But you would have to change your fashion sense because your regular clothes won't do on Mars. You would have to wear a protective spacesuit to protect from solar radiation and keep you warm. The suit will also help you walk because that's something you would be doing differently too. After all, the gravity on Mars is one-third of that on Earth. On this dry and cold planet, there is no soil. So, how will you grow food? Well, you will be switching to dry food compacts that are shipped from Earth. The chances of growing crops artificially in minerals are low, and that would only provide you 20% of the food you need. So, say goodbye to those cheeseburgers. But the good thing is that, like Earth, you would be experiencing all four weathers on Mars. However, the temperatures will be extreme because Mars is further away from the sun, so it's a lot colder with the average temperature being minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Your home would be very different from that on Earth. It might be underground depending on how the scientists are dealing with the harmful radiation, but they would be like small settlements. You would have, of course, the highest technology with you. As the day ends, even the sunsets would be different. Because the moon is so far from Mars, it would appear smaller, and you would see a sunset with blue light due to the difference in the atmosphere on Mars that allows blue light to filter through. So your life would change, but it might be a good thing because you get to live on Mars. But is it really possible to live on another planet? What if its conditions are not welcoming for humans? Now living on another planet is no easy task. Other planets in the universe are not exactly suited for humans, or any other creatures for that matter, because they don't have any life. Mars is the same, it's a dead planet, and scientists haven't found any sources of life on the planet. But the challenges of living on Mars go way beyond that. One of the biggest ones has to do with radiation that comes from the sun and outer space. On Earth, we are protected by much of this due to protective layers around the Earth, such as the ozone layers and the Earth's magnetic field. On top of that, the Earth's thicker atmosphere also helps reduce the radiation's intensity. But on Mars, things are very different, since the atmosphere is very thin, and much of the radiation reaches the surface. Another problem is that it does not have a magnetic field. According to scientific research, Mars did have a magnetic field when it was young due to its convecting iron core. 4.2 billion years ago, something shut that core off permanently. So if we are to form a permanent settlement on Mars, scientists would need to create a source of magnetic fields on Mars. Because if not, extreme sun tanning would be the least of your worries. There will be other harmful effects on your body as well. Apart from this, extreme weather conditions on the planet make human survival very difficult. There are extreme temperature swings on the planet where it can be 70 degrees Fahrenheit in the summers during the day, but at night it could reach minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. A reason for this is that the planet is covered in dust, so the surface loses its temperature quickly. Before you think packing the right kind of warm clothes can help you deal with this, dust is also a disaster when it leads to massive dust storms. These dust storms last for long periods and can blanket regions as large as the US. These storms won't harm you, but they will black off all your electronics on Mars. Now humans need water to survive even more than they need food, but there is no source of water on Mars nor does it come in the form of rain. 
Scientific evidence shows, however, that there used to be large standing water bodies on Mars and plenty of frozen water has also been found near the poles. There is evidence of hidden blankets of water underground as well, so there might be a chance for you to shift to Mars in a few years. So your best chance at living on Mars would be when humans formed the first colony there. But with so many challenges, is that something we should work towards? Is it possible to create a settlement for humans on Mars? The main reason why scientists are thinking about taking over Mars is because they fear that pretty soon, Earth won't be able to sustain life. With increasing global warming, Earth might become inhospitable one day. Mars is also similar to Earth in many ways, and it is also the closest one, making it an obvious target for exploration. Humans have developed several expeditions to Mars to understand the planet better in hopes of one day being able to settle there. The curiosity about the planet has been around since the time Galileo Galilei discovered the planet with his telescope. After that, theories about a possible civilization that existed on Mars along with the existence of polar ice caps spread. The US sent the Mariner 4 in 1964 to capture images of Mars so scientists could analyze its surface. NASA also launched other probes to gather data about different parts of the planet, such as the Mars Odyssey in 2001, which is still circling the planet. Information from these explorations showed signs of water and possibilities of life on Mars. Now NASA is building towards its dream to send people to Mars, while SpaceX wants to build a city on Mars with a million inhabitants by 2050. Other countries like China are also constructing better rockets to transport people, so you might want to book your ticket in advance and pack in advance because it will be a memorable ride. But with so many challenges on a new planet, how is it possible to construct a city where humans could live? Elon Musk suggests that the planet needs to be terraformed, which means re-engineering it to make the atmosphere similar to Earth. One suggestion is to warm up the planet by vaporizing its ice caps. How can this be done? Well, there are several theories that scientists have. One of them involves building solar reflectors to trap the sun's radiation and use them to melt the ice caps. On the other hand, Musk suggests that we use nuclear bombs to melt the ice caps. With enough water vapor, the planet would have an atmosphere that could maintain the pressure needed for humans. But transporting nuclear missiles is a whole other task. There are other ways to terraform Mars as well, such as importing ammonia from other planets so that it creates a warming effect. However, there are limitations to this as well. Terraforming the planet could take hundreds and thousands of years. It also has several budgetary constraints as well. It might not be possible to undergo in the current state of technology, but it is doable as humans advance. So it could be that humans form a colony on Mars even before they convert its atmosphere. It may be a small artificial settlement, but those people would be the first residents of Mars. But given the challenges, will humans be able to survive there? Will they adjust to a life way different than Earth?